Brookshire Community College at your service. I'm Liz Hollister. And I'm Rhiannon Kopanek. And we're here at the Welcome Back Luncheon for the spring semester for the 2003 season. And all afternoon we'll have a live band behind us. We'll have all the different tables from all the organizations here at BCC represented. It's going to be a great day. Um, today we have a bunch of guests sitting with us. Our first guest is um, Dean Jeff Dosher, who is the Dean of Student Affairs and Enrollment Services. Thank you, Jeff, for joining us today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, we have a couple questions for you. Uh, how are you feeling about this, this spring semester beginning? I'm always excited about a semester beginning, and uh, this one in particular because of the layoff uh, in between semesters. Things get very quiet around the campus. Those of us that are here are working on finishing up things from last term, getting ready for the new students coming in. And um, it's just a different kind of an atmosphere. It's quiet, and, and I prefer to have students around and the, and the hustle and bustle in the hallways and, and even events like this um, to, to liven things up. So I'm very excited whenever a semester starts. Great. Do you have any messages for students as the semester begins? Yes, I do. Um, I think that um, I'd like to encourage students to really pay attention to their studies and put the emphasis on learning as much as they can. Um, sometimes students get real caught up in grades, and I think sometimes some of the earlier goals to reach those grades get lost. And I'd like to really encourage them to learn as much as they can in each class. Now, there's lots of things that go on in the classrooms that are extremely valuable, but beyond that, uh, there's lots of outside activities that I think can enhance a student's growth and development. Um, a couple of examples might be um, the kind of work that the two of you are doing right now, uh, taking part in this at your service program that we have here. Um, I imagine you're gaining lots of personal experience out of this, lots of growth, and it enhances your ideas about what it is that you want to do and you can refine that by, by participating in this. Well, thank you so much, Jeff, for joining us today. Um, and now we're going to um, go to um, Jeff Tabor, who is going to talk about some career development um, and tell us about that, those services. Hello, I'm Jeff Tabor from the Career Development Office here at BCC. Have you ever thought about coming to BCC and you weren't sure what you wanted to pursue as a major because you weren't sure what you wanted to pursue as a career? If you, you haven't figured out what you're going to be when you grow up, as they say, uh, you want to come here, but again, you're not certain just how to fit in and get those classes going? Come see us at the Career Development Center. We can help you in all of those endeavors. We offer um, interest inventory uh, assistance. We use the strong interest inventory, the self-directed search. These instruments are designed to help you figure out a particular career path that's best suited to your interests, skills, background, and uh, values. Also, uh, if you need help with a resume, we assist you with that. As a matter of fact, both in the spring and fall semester, we offer uh, preparation on resumes, uh, job search uh, assistance. If you're seeking a job, writing a resume, preparing for an interview, um, not sure what the occupational outlook is, you're doing career exploration, come by and see us at the Career Development Center. We can help you in all of those areas. Uh, we're available typically between 9 and 5 during the school year. You can drop in or drop in to set up an appointment or contact Judy Adams at extension 220 to set up a time. Or you can reach me at extension 209 to uh, set up a time to uh, meet. Again, we're available to help you at most any time. Let me take a moment to go over here and show you the um, resources in the Career and Transfer Resource Center. Uh, here we have a variety of college catalogs. If a student wants to transfer to another college and they want to get information on which colleges offer certain courses, they can access the resources here through the catalogs. We also use many other hard copy resources, the Dictionary of Occupational Titles, the Occupational Outlook Handbook. But our main feature, uh, we've moved toward the computerization. Uh, on these computers we have a site called Bridges.com. And that's a computerized career guidance system that's designed to help you figure out um, certain areas of uh, certain careers. Give me, I'll give you an example. If you wanted to find out the options available to you as far as business is concerned, you could go on here and look up the category under business as a general category. And it would give you the chance to find out what an accountant does, someone in bookkeeping, marketing, payroll, etc. 
So it narrows down the occupational focus for you. Also, if you're interested in uh, transferring to a college and you knew what major you wanted to pursue, you could do a college search and find out which colleges offer that major, which are best suited to your particular uh, needs. If you wanted scholarship or financial aid information, you could find that out as well. Again, there are a variety of resources here, and with the short amount of time I have, I can't explain all of them to you. I encourage you to stop by and see us most any time. We're ready and willing to help you. Well, today we've been talking about different um, groups and programs that students can get involved with on campus. Um, and today we're actually sitting with uh, Carlton Maya, who is very involved with jazz here at BCC. Um, hi, Carlton. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good. Thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. Um, can you just talk to us um, about some of the jazz groups sure. on campus? Um, this is the fourth semester that we've had a jazz ensemble here at BCC. Um, I'm very confident about the group that we have uh, this semester. A lot of new people, uh, a lot of new ideas. We're hoping to record our second album here. Um, and I think the, uh, the program as a whole has really taken off in the last uh, two years since we brought it in. And um, I think it shows a good development and a good a step in the right direction for the, for the music program here. And I think it's showing people that, uh, that there are opportunities to pursue different musical paths here at BCC, so we're going to uh, do our best with it and uh, hopefully end up with a good product if we can put this album together. And We'll have public performances throughout the semester, uh, both here and uh, in the community. So we're excited about it. Thank you very much. My Bob. pleasure. Thank I'm Jesse Waldeka reporting for BCC at your service. Did you know you can attend forums off campus and you can even view videotapes in the Jonathan Edwards Library? But of course you can watch them live here where I'm sitting in K111 on campus. But also you should take a look at this BCC events calendar. You can really find out about what forums will be taking place and you can even find out about like welcome back luncheons and so forth. It's really great to plan on what you want to come see for events. But as a BCC student, it's at your interest to find out what forums will be taking place. This is because you have to have 12 forum credits before you graduate. So you can take a look in here. You can find out what really suits your interest. There's all sorts of categories from musicals to diversity to ethnic culture and global issues and it's uh, really great. It, not only is it good to you know finish the credits before graduation but it really just intellectually you know you're not thinking about homework all the time you're thinking about other things that can expand the horizons intellectually. But another great tool to have is the BCC student handbook. And this is a little more in-depth than the events calendar because you get to find out about BCC policies. You get to find out about the drop ad period, withdrawal from a course. There's policies on here I never thought of before that I took a look at. Gambling is one. Gambling is illegal on campus. But it also has a calendar and it also mentions when forums are taking place. So it's also great to find out about forums. And you can find out the mission of forum, why it was created, its history. You know, why do you have to have forum? And so between these two tools, you can really organize what you're going to do as a student here at BCC. Yes, granted, you are going to have plenty of homework, but you should also get out of the house and go to some events and have a good time as a student while you're here at BCC. So if you're like me, you want to probably take a look and highlight some of the events that you'll be interested in and just have a fun time doing it and not even think about the fact that it's for credit. This is Jesse Waldeka reporting for BCC at your service. Hi, this is Layla Squires reporting for BCC at your service and I'm here today with Alejandra. Hi, so what are you having today? Um, pizza, cookie, and salad. What did it cost you? Um, nothing. Well, that's a good price. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. It's good. Great. Great. This is Layla for BCC at your service. <laughs>
Okay. Thank you, Layla, for that report on um, what's for lunch. Um, right, right now we're going to talk about the SGA. Um, Dean Jack Dosher just talked about um, how important it is for students to get involved on campus. And one of the great ways to get involved is with the Student Government Association. Now, Brianna and you and I are both on the Student Government Association. We're both very involved with that. It's an absolutely wonderful opportunity for students to get involved, to be active on campus. And actually, right now, we have Beth Wallace with us. And she is the Assistant Director for the Office of Student Life and also the co-advisor to the Student Government Association. Hello. Hello. Now, what are some of the goals for the Student Advisory Council this year? Um, well, this year they're kind of working on some stuff that they started last year, last semester. Two of the things are Holy Hour, which a lot of people don't know the term Holy Hour, but on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, there are no classes at this time between 12.15 and 1.30. So the, the student government did a survey last year and found that students really need more time to get involved with clubs and organizations. So they're going to work this semester with faculty and staff to try and make it Monday through Friday, for an hour Monday through Friday, so that they can get involved in more things, have more time to meet with their faculty advisors if they need to. The other thing, the other part of that survey they did was to find out if students really were opposed to styrofoam um, in the cafeteria and they were. So they're going to work hard with the cafeteria staff this semester to see if we can take, find an alternate way to um, serve their lunch. And the other um, new thing this semester they're working on is an alternative spring break with the service learning um, coordinator, Allison Chai. And this is going to be great. It's going to be the, the weekend, the first weekend of March break. And they're going to work with um, the Christian Center on the west side in Habitat for Humanity and restoring an, a home down there. So they're going to actually be living together, sleeping together and eating together from Friday through Monday um, and trying, working really hard on this house. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> Thank you so much for actually running out of time. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, now we're going to go to um, Ms. Rico Morrison um, for a report on um, the Skills Assessment Center. Thank you. Welcome to the Assessment and Testing Center at Berkshire Community College. I'm Liz Recco Morrison, the Center Coordinator, and I'd like to take a minute or two to tell you about some of the services that we offer here in this area. First and foremost, it's the testing center in which you will take your placement exams for BCC. All incoming students who are not bringing transfer credit in English or mathematics are required to take our placement test. This test allows us to help you identify your strengths and weaknesses and your readiness for college level work. The learning skills assessment involves two untimed portions, reading and math, which will be taken on the computer, as well as a writing sample, which will be timed. Uh, when you receive those results, you and an academic advisor will be able to choose classes that will be appropriate to your skills at this point in time. One of the other things that happens at the Assessment and Testing Center is we offer the GED, or General Equivalency Diploma exams. This allows people who have left high school before obtaining a diploma to receive their high school diploma uh, by taking and successfully completing five exams. If you're interested in receiving a GED, you can give us a call and we will be able to send you out a registration packet that will give you all the information that you need to prepare. One of the other things that we do here in the Assessment and Testing Center is offer the CLEP and Dante's exams. These are nationally normed standardized tests that allow students to earn college level credit for in learning that they have done either through independent study or through uh, knowledge gained from work or a vocational interest. Uh, these exams are generally about two to three hours in length and are offered in a wide variety of subject areas. The last thing that we do regularly here is to proctor exams for distance learning courses. I know many people in the community are earning degrees um, that involve some web coursework and we do offer for a small fee of $20 a place where you can take proctored exams as many of the institutions require. Uh, my staff and I would be very happy to get to know you and to help you with any testing needs. You can reach us at 499-4660, extension 309, or extension 416. And I look forward to meeting you.
for that update and right now we're back at the luncheon with Christine Trudevoyo who is the new coordinator for the TRIO program. Hello. Hi. Could you tell us a little bit about the TRIO program? Yes, the TRIO program is a program for students on campus where we design a one-on-one -on -one ed plan for you. Um, we will help you uh, decide what courses to take, we'll help you with tutoring services and a myriad of other things that will help you have very, very successful experience here at BCC. How can students um, really get involved? Okay, well, I am a new coordinator, so I have to check my cheat sheet here. <laughs> um, they can get involved by coming to my office in Field 116 or by going to the TRIO Center in Field 237, and that center is directly opposite the mailroom. What are some of the best things that TRIO has to offer students? What should I, they know? I think the best things they have to offer are things that are available in the TRIO Center, and that includes the use of computers, the use of an educational specialist who's there to help you if you don't understand an assignment or if you don't understand your homework, and also an academic counselor who is there to help you design an individualized plan that will get you through BCC quickly and without any hassles or fusses. You said something about support groups. Are there meetings for particular students? There are meetings during the week. Um, they're called TRIO Talks, and they're on such topics as study skills, learning styles, and even how to have your family engaged in your academic success. Sometimes families feel left out, and so we'll have a workshop on how to include your family and bring them into the, into the academic fold. That's great. Thank you Okay. So much. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Um, and now we're going to go to uh, Jane Kellish, who um, is going to discuss with us um, some of the services that we have for the Tutorial Center. Hi, I'm Janie Pellish, Coordinator of Tutorial Services at Berkshire Community College. And I wanted to spend a few minutes explaining to you the different services that my department can provide for both the students here on campus and also for many of the members of the Berkshire County community at large. The tutoring center is located in the Kusevitsky Art Center, room 214, which is on the second floor. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 o'clock in the morning till 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And our extension on campus is 348 or 430. We have a variety of services that I'd like to share with you right now. We offer peer tutoring to all of the students here on campus that are enrolled in academic classes, and we pretty much have tutors in all of the different courses that are offered. Tutoring is a free service if you are enrolled in a day or evening class here on campus. Um, it's a service utilized by a lot of students, and many of our students um, are the tutors. We generally have about 100 tutors per semester, and we pay the tutors uh, $6.95 an hour. Um, of the tutors, many of them are students, as I mentioned. And we also have some folks that are from the Berkshire County community that tutor for us as well. Many of them have retired in different disciplines, and they come up to our campus to share their expertise with our students. Another thing we offer through our department are three different help centers. Our help centers are staffed by members of the faculty in the different disciplines. And again, they're free service, and they're more of a drop-in situation. Students can come in to our History Help Center, our Math Help Center, or our Writing Help Center, and obtain assistance all in all of these different disciplines. In history, they can receive information about um, Western civilization classes, U.S. history, and other history classes. In the math center, they can receive assistance in basic math, intro algebra, and intermediate algebra. And in our writing center, students can receive assistance on writing papers on all subjects. Um, we also offer an online math tutoring here in the center. Students can log on to the BCC website. They can email their questions during the day, and our tutors answer them in the evenings. In our department, we provide information on study strategies. I have read through many books on study strategies and have put together in these handouts that you see here the most important pieces of information. I'm going to be running workshops um, during the semester on different 
study strategies. For example, how to survey a textbook. Helpful tips and note taking. Study strategies for mathematics. If you're interested in any of the services that I've just described to you, please give me a call at BCC at 499-4660, extension 348, and let me know how I may be able to help you. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Layla Squires reporting for BCC at your service, and I'm here today with Claire Antel. Claire, uh, what's your major? Um, I'm pre-nursing right now. And what courses are you taking right now? I'm taking microbiology, anatomy and physiology too, uh, medical terminology, and advanced strength training. Wow, full schedule. <laughs> are you a new or returning student? This is my second semester here. Great. Well, good luck with your studies. This is Layla Squires reporting for BCC at your service, and now back to Liz and Rhiannon. Thank you, Layla. And now we're back with Travis Daly, a member of the BCC Players. Actually, you're president, aren't you, Travis? Uh, yes, I am the president. Wasn't that nice? Um, can you tell us a little bit about the shows coming up for the BCC Players? Well, we're doing two shows this semester. It's going to be a winter festival show, which is going to be three student-directed one-acts. And those actually uh, will be going up the end of February. And we're doing a musical, South Pacific, which will start casting the end of February when these shows end. Great. Great. Um, and what do you do as a BCC player? Travis? Well, we actually have meetings every Friday at 2 o'clock. If anyone was interested in coming, they can actually reach Ellen Shanahan, who is our advisor, at 499-4660, extension 212. And like I said, two, uh, they're 2 o'clock every Friday. Anybody's uh, welcome to come. What do you do at the meetings? Uh, we, we discuss the shows, um, plan fundraisers or parties, or we, we often go to Broadway trips, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So you don't have to be an actor to be a BCC Absolutely player? Absolutely not. No way. You can do technical stuff or help build sets or, you know, anything you're interested in theater, just come. Just come. Okay. Now, there's winter shows. Who are the directors of them? It's going to be Tom Reardon, Judy McNutt, and there's a co-directed one by Matt McAreevy and Josh Bischoff. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Definitely go to those shows. And let's see, next we're going to Roger Corvo with the International Student Services information. Hi. I'm Roger Corvo, and I'm the Director of International Student Services here at Berkshire Community College. Berkshire host approximately 50 to 60 students each semester from all over the world. There are international students and they're a great resource for here at the college. They come from Europe, Central America, South America, the Caribbean, Africa, and Asia. And why do they come here? Well, they probably come here just as you and I do because of the academic excellence, the safe environment that's provided by the Pittsfield area, and the individual attention that this, this institution can give them. How can we get involved with the international students? Well, most international students come here and they don't know anyone in the county. Um, we have a program of hosting international students and we gather families and individuals who might want to host an international student in their home. If you're interested in this opportunity to get a little bit more of an international dimension in your home and learn about someone from a different part of the world, contact us at our office and we'll provide you with the information necessary to make a choice whether you want to invite an inter a student into your home, which would be a great opportunity. In addition, here at BCC there are international opportunities for American students and students here from the county who want to learn more and, and travel. Uh, Professor Ashley and Professor Del Greco over the past two semesters have had a program to uh, the Dominican Republic and would like to coordinate another program to Honduras. 
These international opportunities we'll have on hand if you stop by our office and see us and would like to be able to talk to you about broadening your horizons and making your life a little bit more international. Hope to see you soon. concerns here at Berkshire Community College, the best way to have your voice heard is through the Student Government Association. We meet every Tuesday and Thursday from 12.15 to 1.15 in the Susan B. Anthony Lounge and we always welcome new members. This is Crystal Diefendorf reporting from BCC at your service. luncheon and I have with me the BCC events calendar where you can find all sorts of forums that Jesse was talking about earlier plus all the other nice things going on here at BCC. The first thing I'd like to mention is for any late classes, non-traditional students, um, in Kusevitsky lobby there's Cafe Pauvre so at night from 5 to 7.30 you can get all sorts of munchies and cookies and tea so that's pretty cool. Also um, on Sunday February 9th Mark your calendars for this. It's not, it's your, uh, not your average dog show um, day. It's, it's a great, fun um, event that we have where you can bring your puppies, your dogs. Um, I think we're also going to have a puppy parade or something. So, or just um, come and watch. Or just come and watch. Um, it's very fun, very amusing. Um, and uh, then we have, what else? It's February that Friday. 14th. Don't forget, <laughs> February 14th is Valentine's Day. Be careful. Um, and here at BCC that day we'll have a jazz breakfast in the morning and that's free and then all day you'll get to watch romantic movies. Um, we didn't mention everything but if you're looking for anything else to do you can just pick up a BCC events calendar upstairs in the Office of Student Life and find something to do. Right. Well that about wraps it up for um, today's episode of Berkshire Community College at Your Service. I'm Liz Hollister. And I'm Rhiannon Kopanek and thanks for watching. <laughs>